I'm going to taste test the quince jelly. So we have this tree in our yard. We've had it since I was a tiny tot. <laughs> and it is a quince tree. And we, lots of years we don't do anything with it because the apples are supposed to be super sour. But um, I think my mom might have put a few in like an apple pie or a few in an applesauce at one time or another. But anyway, this year there's a whole bunch of quince apples. So my brother, I guess he's sort of a little bit of a farmer and a but we have fruit farmers in our family, so I guess that's where he gets it. Anyway, he was insistent that we make some jelly out of our quince. And I was skeptical. I'm like, really? Is that gonna is that gonna work? So, but um my mom like put it in a pot and boiled it and poured a bunch of sugar in it and it boiled it for a couple of hours and hello and behold, preserves came out. Now, <laughs> that's surprising to me. I didn't, I thought you'd need some kind of gelatin or something to make it like a jelly, but apparently not. Apparently all you have to do is boil it and drench it in sugar. I'll put a, um, I'll put up a recipe. I'm sure it's not a hard recipe, I'm sure. It's boil and sugar. <sighs> in the, on the text. Anyhow, this summer my brother also made uh, choke cherry juice which I, was, I wasn't going to try that. I was definitely skeptical because I looked it up online and it said, don't crush the little itty bitty pits because there is arsenic. Is it arsenic or cyanide? It's cyanide in it. I'm like, no, I'm not going to dr drink juice that might have some cyanide properties in it. Perish the thought. So I did not try the choke cherry juice, but I mean, I guess it's good to, to do something with the choke cherries because Sometimes there's so many, I just go to waste. Anyhow, so I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to taste the jelly. Ordinarily, jelly is much too sweet for me and that's not good, but a taste won't hurt. Mm -hmm. Use a plastic spoon so I don't waste a good one. This is the jar. It looks just like strawberry or raspberry preserved. Isn't it amazing? It's preserves. So, hmm, it smells, it smells like burnt apple. I like burnt apple. It's pretty thick. It's not runny, it's thick. Let's see here. Take a chunk. Like I said, I don't trust quince more than I trust a choke cherry. Let's see, I heard they're sour. They do have an apple flavor. It does have a little bit of a burnt apple flavor. It has a little bit of a sweet potato flavor. They're like candied fruit. Just like the candied fruit you'd get in the store. Well. I didn't know it was that easy to candy fruit. It's sweet enough, it's not too sour. So, it's not too bad. Like you said, it's probably a load of sugar in it. And I don't eat too much jelly anymore, but, but it can be done. So it's pretty amazing that it's so easy. So, I just had to show this to you because it's rare and different. It's different. So I imagine if you do the, this is how you candy the quince and make quince preserves. I guess you could probably do that with a lot of other fruits too. Who knew it would be so simple to put away your own preserves and your own candied fruits? So, if we get around to doing this again, I'll let you know. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, these are the quince apples. Yeah, they kind of look like pears if you 
from the right angle. And it looks like a big bag of them, so <laughs> don't they look like pears? Seriously? There's a big bag of them. And there is the quince tree. As you can see, the branches are kind of full. But some of them like rot on the tree, see there? So it looks like we will probably be, probably be eating a couple of jars of quince preserves.